Now it's common knowledge that if you want performance, you have to pay the big bucks. AMG's smallest offering which is the A35 is almost 65 to 70 lakh rupees. Even if you want a VRS from the used car market, it doesn't depreciate because the demand is so high and the numbers are so low. So what if you want similar performance but you don't want to spend all of those big bucks? This is an Octavia 1.8 Mark III and this is no normal Octavia 1.8. This has been gone all the way up to stage 3 and produces 300 horsepower. And for around 15 to 20 lakh rupees including the car, you can have something that is almost as fast as a VRS. Welcome back to the Drivers Hub, I'm Soham Saraf and this is Autoculture. Now before we get into all of the performance mods, I quickly want to run over the design and other exterior mods that this car has. So in terms of exterior, it only has these amazing looking wheels and a cute little boot lip spoiler at the end. But behind these amazing looking wheels, you have VRS 245 brakes. And if you think the stance is a little bit different, that is also correct because this is on Euro spec springs, suspension and bushes. And well, let's now get into the spicy stuff which is under the hood. Hold up, have you checked out our website? TheDriversUp.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your exotic, performance or even project car and target the right audience. Even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams, something like this, a first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all-wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abarth with a Stage 1 Plus and a lot of goodies. So head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams. So this is where all of the masala is but the thing is you cannot see it because it's a very subtle looking engine bay but all around there are some very important mods underneath. So you get a blaze performance intercooler, you have a stock air box but inside you have a BMC air filter with pikey mods as well. And behind over here, if you really go deep, you can see there is a fat turbo from a VRS 245. If you remember the black all-wheel drive 245 we had done a video on, that's the turbo from that car stuck on over here. And you have a custom-made decat downpipe behind it. And all of these mods come together to make 300 horsepower. And those are reliable horsepower because this car is not anywhere near the limit with all of these mods. So I think so. Let's hop into the car and see how it feels. <laughs> so this car has 300 horsepower like I said but the thing is it's silent horsepower because the owner hasn't fitted a proper exhaust system it knows it's only running a downpipe for now so the power is silent but deadly that's the perfect term for this car and in the interior as you can see there is some special bits around mainly this beautiful steering wheel which has the shift lights from an F1 car inspired from an F1 car and it's a very nice little mod it really creates that drama that you want the steering also has paddle shifters and it's of course not the OE steering wheel but I really love this steering wheel the fit and finish is amazing and this carbon fiber and these shift lights and everything really create that drama that you want now behind the steering wheel you have a VRS 245 instrument cluster which has been retrofitted into this car uh, it's done by N2 Autotech and it works just like OEM I mean it fits in perfectly to the car and you know it's a really good mod if you have the money to spend but the real thing about this car is the silent power and I mean it is just relentless once you start pushing it and the 1.8 TSI is very potent I mean there are people who have pushed it to near 500 horsepower and I'm not surprised if this car can do that as well but currently the uh, remap that this guy is running is from eTuners India it's a stage 3 ECU and TCU map but the thing is it's not been pushed to the limit at all because the owner drives this car pretty regularly and he wants reliable power and reliable it is because the engine is pretty safe in this setting but the only problem that I have with the build and especially the Mark 3 Octi 1.8 is the gearbox the gearbox is still a DQ200 it's the same gearbox that you find in a Polo GT TSI now if you're pushing so much power in this gearbox anyways in a stock GT TSI it's bound to fail and with so much power and all of these mods done to it 
I'm pretty sure that the gearbox is the most unreliable thing in this car. A lot of people will suggest you if you're going to mod an Octi 1.8 TSI with a DQ200 gearbox, definitely look for a DQ250 swap or at least get a race clutch because at least then you can have fun without thinking about the gearbox blowing up all the time. Apart from that, the handling of this car is absolutely amazing. It's not running any sort of special uh, coilovers or anything like that. It's just running on Euro-spec Skoda suspension, springs and bushes. And that makes the car very, very agile, I have to say. I mean, the body roll and all is there. It's not completely gone. But for Indian roads and this sort of power, I think so. These, this setup is pretty damn good. And the brakes have been upgraded as well. Like I said, 245 uh, brakes from the VRS and it stops on a dime. Overall, it's a very well done build and I would suggest that if you're going for an Octi 1.8 uh, automatic with the DQ200, check this build out because the mods on this are very nice. And this, in my opinion, is the ultimate sleeper. This is a really good project car, but it's not the perfect canvas because the DQ200 gearbox inside is not the most reliable, especially when you're pushing such high power figures. Uh, so if you want to get this as your project car, I would suggest that you immediately go and swap in a DQ250 or at least a race clutch so that the gearbox is reliable. And then you can start spending the high amounts of money on getting the most power out of this car. Even if you want to get to VRS levels of power, you need to spend at least 5 to 6 lakh rupees, which is less than a VRS stock, but at least the car is worth around 9 to 10 lakh rupees for a good one, and the mods are maybe 5 to 6 lakh rupees, depending on what you're trying to do. A really enjoyable car to drive, a silent killer, and if I'm looking to replace my Laura, I think so. this will be very high on top of my priority list. So, this has been the Driver's Hub. I'm Soham Saraf. This was Auto Culture, and I hope you like this video. Subscribe. Check out our Instagram and check out our website as well. Thank you so much for watching.